The event you've been waiting all year for, it's the classic Game Room Game of the Year Awards Show 2011, bringing you the top 10 games of the year. What could they be? I'm filming today at Carnivore's Restaurant and Sports Bar in Oakmont, Pennsylvania, just outside of Pittsburgh. I'm surrounded by 30 taps and over 400 bottles of beer, yet I'm expected to film an awards show. Fortunately, I brought a friend to help out. That's right, it's Wappy the dog. Who's going to help sample a few with me? I keep imagining that when I place the beer on the portal of power, it will be playable in Skylanders. And of course, it's my favorite character. I can't wait to level it up. Let's get started. Game number 10 is a tie between F1 2011 from Codemasters and THQ and Tactics Ogre Let Us Cling Together from Square Enix. Both games are so good they had to be in the top 10 and I couldn't kick either one out, so I guess it's like a top 11. In reverse chronological order, what comes after 10? It's number 9. What's the ninth best game of 2011? It's got an El Camino. It's got an AMC Pacer and it has the Beastie Boys. It's Driver El Camino, otherwise known as Driver San Francisco from Ubisoft. One of my favorite games of 2011. It's just a lot of fun, well made. I love the shift feature between cars. You really can't go wrong with Driver El Camino San Francisco. If I were to give an award for the king of accessories, it would definitely be Activision, but the king of Fighters 13 is game number 8 in the Classic Game Room Top 10 Game of the Year Award 2011 because it's awesome from SNK Playmore and Atlas. This is fighting game perfection right here. A lot of fun, and as many of you, including Lappy Dog, have noticed, it's bouncy with excitement. Let's get to game seven. The seventh best game of 2011 is, is it obvious? It's Kirby Mass Attack. That's right, a mob of angry Kirbys destroying enemies on your Nintendo DS from HAL and Nintendo. This game is awesome. It's extremely fun. Definitely worth picking up. Kirby Mass Attack. It's game number six, the sixth best game of 2011, which is not a video game. There's no rules that say every game has to be a video game here. This is Classic Game Room, and the sixth best game of the year is Tron Legacy Pinball from Stern. And since I don't have one with me in honor of Tron, I brought Tron Solar Sailor for the Intellivision, which isn't nearly as good as Tron Legacy Pinball, but it's, it says Tron, and this one talks, so does Tron Legacy Pinball. Welcome back, program. Most video game awards tend to go to big games that are AAA titles that are considered hardcore games of multiplayer and all that stuff, but there's no reason that games aimed at a younger audience can't still be awesome games. If I was eight, this would be my favorite game ever made. I think it's worthy of being number five, the fifth best game of 2011. It's Skylanders Spyro's Adventure with the Portal of Power. Who doesn't like the portal of power? This thing is brilliant. Watch this. You cannot place more than one Skylander on the portal of power at a time, guys. Get off. Off mine. Skylanders. No doubt this will be the controversial fifth game of the year award, but it deserves it. These little Skylanders are pretty cool if you like collecting physical objects and seeing them come to life in a game? This is the one you want, Skylanders.
The fourth best game of 2011 goes to the best driving game of 2011. It's Dirt 3 from Codemasters and THQ, an incredibly fun, well-made game that I'm still enjoying. It's just awesome. We're down to the top three, the best three games of 2011, and coming in at number three is a game with a three in the title. Do you know what it is? It's Dungeon Siege 3 from Obsidian and Square Enix. I've had so much fun with this game, I love it. We're on number two, it's the second best game of the year, 2011. Not a game you'll probably expect, but it deserves it. It's Shock Troopers for the PlayStation 3 from SNK Playmore. Sure, Shock Troopers may have come out in the 1990s for the Neo Geo, but the entire Neo Geo Station on the PlayStation 3 deserves an award, and Shock Troopers is the best Neo Geo game on there, so it gets it, and you need to check out the Neo Geo Station on the PlayStation 3, because so many of us couldn't shell out the 600 bucks or so for a Neo Geo back in the day, and now you can download the great games on your PS3. So uh, since I don't have a Shock Troopers packaging or box around here with me, I'm just going to hold up this one. It's the game of the year time. What's the best video game of 2011? The classic game room. Game of the year award goes to a game that sums up everything that's good about video games. It's fun, it's well made, it has brilliant level design, infinitely playable. It's Super Mario 3D Land on the Nintendo 3DS. Hands down, this is the best game of 2011. And there you have it, the best games of the year 2011. As always, thank you to everybody who's been watching over the past year or since 2008 when Classic Game Room debuted on YouTube or since 1999 when the show started. It's been that long. Thank you and I'll see you next time on Classic Game Room. I'm going to see if I can now play as the Cosmic Carnage box and packaging in Skylanders. What is the best video game of 2011 on any platform, on any system, any genre? Lost my train of thought.